Here we're looking at a tree in the Rutaceae family, the genus Philodendron, and the specific epithet is Amaranth. This is Philodendron amaranth for the species name, which is Amar cork or Amar cork tree or cork tree. This is not a true cork tree, this isn't where we typically would get cork from, uh, so the cork tree is one word or hyphenated to let us know that it's not a true cork tree. Let's take a look at some of its identifying characteristics. The bark of the cork tree is likely where it gets its name from. It looks a little bit like cork oak, and it is fairly spongy due to a high suberin or cork content. It develops flat-topped ridges and fairly deep uh, furrows as you go in. It's an ashen gray, usually a little bit lighter in color, and you can see a little bit of this texture or ridging pattern, which is layer of layer of the bark on top. You can see a little bit of that over here as well, these sort of individual layers. The buds and twigs are typically arranged opposite each other. However, on some of the newest growth, it might go from opposite to sub-opposite or maybe even appearing slightly alternate. The older twig is a gray-brown with some prominent raised lenticels, the little white dots. The newer twig, or the current season growth, is more of a green-brown in color. When you peel a leaf back, you can see that this green is the leaf scar, and that little brown on the inside is the bud. The leaf, base of the leaf, almost entirely encircles the bud. Inside the base of the petiole, you can see a little bit of a hollow spot where the bud would be situated. It has a pinnately compound leaf. Here, petiole attached to the stem, and then inside you've got a rachis that goes all along, and then the individual leaflets. Typically there will be a terminal leaflet, although on some it may be missing. Nice dark green color above, and then very light green on the underside. The underside has a little bit of a silky feel to it. Amber cork tree is a small to medium sized tree. Here you can see it has branched fairly low to the ground has a bit of an irregular shape in the crown. This is not native to the United States, and there have been some problems with this tree being invasive. When this tree is invasive, it is typically the female, so there is both a male and a female tree, and the female tree has fruit that are eaten by birds and distributed which can cause problems with invasiveness.